So Taylor Swift has endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris in her campaign. She's also encouraged people to click on a voter registration link online. That's had a lot of attention in recent days. The question is, what kind of impact will it really have on the presidential race? Tom Bonnier joins us now. He is a senior advisor at Target Smart, which analyzes voter registration data. Tom, thanks for being here. What are you seeing from Taylor Swift in her endorsement, especially in terms of driving civic participation? Yeah, so I think this is a question a lot of us had after we saw the endorsement. I think a lot of people expected it was coming, but the question of how much of an impact will she have beyond just the excitement, you know, the likes on Instagram, will it translate into voter registration? So we can see some of the back end data in terms of the data that is coming and hitting off the voter file that we build. And what we saw was this really massive increase. We're calling it the Swift effect now because it's really unlike anything I've seen. We we're seeing a four or 500 percent increase in people coming and trying to register to vote immediately following the debate. And in that period after Taylor Swift uh, posted on Instagram. And what's really remarkable about that is usually you'll see these increases and they kind of fade away. In this case, we've seen it continue through the last two days into today. How so? Well, you know, I, I, I'm told, I have two teenage daughters, that she was on the Video Music Awards on MTV last night. Apparently, she put out another pitch for people to register to vote. And so we're seeing this continued spike of four or five times what you would regularly see. So we're talking about somewhere in the neighborhood nine to 10,000 people per hour just hitting our system. That's not indicative of everything, but it's a lot of it. And what does this mean for the election? Well, you know, a big part of this, the big question I think a lot of people ask is when you see new registrants, sure, they're registering to vote. Will they vote? Well, we actually have statistics going back to 2020. We can see people who registered to vote this close to the election. Over 80 percent of those new registrants actually turned out in the election. So it's safe to say that not only are these voters who are registering uh, are a big deal, but it's likely that they're going to come out on Election Day or before Election Day in the early voting. What are you seeing in Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania is a fascinating one. Now, we know that Pennsylvania is one of the blue wall states. It's, it's likely to be decisive. Uh, and so when we look at the registration trends there, we've seen big increases, especially from younger voters, women voters, and voters of color. When you look at younger women of color, that sort of overlap of all three groups, you're seeing numbers that are almost unbelievable. In some cases, almost tripling the registration rate that we saw from those voters four years or earlier in the 2020 cycle. When you look at the data following Taylor Swift's endorsement of Harris and the, the push of that link to register to vote, do we have a profile of the kind of voter who's emerging from this Taylor Swift constituency? It'll take a little while before we have the hard data on exactly who these people are, exactly where they are. But the data that we have been seeing so far in terms of the data hitting our system and the, the earlier voter registration data counts we have, again, it's overwhelmingly younger voters. It's more women than men. It's more voters of color. Uh, these are voters that overwhelmingly tend to lean Democratic. So it seems to be at this point very good news for the Harris campaign. But again, in the coming weeks, we'll be able to look at it with more granular detail. Have you seen any Republican endorsement have any kind of effect on voter registration? I haven't. You know, I mean, part of that might just be the lack of high profile celebrity endorsements. And frankly, there's no one out there that I can imagine who comes close to Taylor Swift just in terms of that following and her ability to to motivate people and mobilize people. But in terms of the data, we have not seen a precedent that matches up to what we're seeing in the data now. Is there any state out there where you're seeing an unusual spike? Forget Taylor Swift's specific endorsement, just in terms of voter participation and registration. Yeah, this is the remarkable thing. And, and this sort of goes back to two years ago in the Dobbs decision, where after that decision, uh, getting rid of Roe v. Wade effectively, we saw big increases, but it wasn't really around the country. It was in some states, but not in others. What's remarkable about what we've been seeing since Vice President Harris became the nominee is that you're seeing big increases, not just in these so-called purple states, the swing states and battlegrounds that will decide this presidential election, but you're seeing it in red states and blue states. In fact, one of the biggest increases we've seen so far in registration among these younger voters and voters of color is in Louisiana, a state that uh, is incredibly unlikely to be competitive in the presidential election.
Tom Bonnier, thank you for coming by America Decides. We appreciate it.